The project is uh, basically the School of Engineering of the University of Warwick. At the same time, since I'm visiting, I'm, I'm doing a part of the research at the University of Leuven in Belgium, where I work. And uh, it has been financed through uh, the uh, Advanced West Midland Funds and through the University of Warwick itself, of course. The project uh, concerns the recycling of uh, waste materials into chemicals. What we do is we use, for the moment, waste PET bottles, but we crush them and we feed them back into the reactor. We use polystyrene, representing another 8% of our mixed plastic waste, and we use mis mixed plastic waste as collected by Veolia and other people. What we do is we put it in a reactor at temperatures of about 400 to 500 degrees, with or without steam injection, and what happens is that the molecules, these polymers, really crack back to their monomers. And uh, in doing that, you uh, instead of just burning it, you recycle it back to the raw materials that can then be used to make the polymers again. So it's a waste to chemical uh, objective rather than a waste to energy objective. In most of the waste to energy plants, of course, burn. They go to temperatures 800 degrees with a massive amount of oxygen and they burn it and then they go to a steam boiler and, and so on and so forth. We try to avoid that by using lower temperatures and by just giving the molecules a thermal shock to crack them, not to burn them, so that we have some products after all. The future for this project is massive. Huh? If you think of it that the European Union is putting a lot of money into uh, waste to something, well, we believe that waste to chemicals is uh, a lot more val valuable than uh, waste to energy because we recreate the original components. We have been running uh, PET bottles, crushed bottles, uh, well, up to 80% of that bottle is uh, recycled as the raw materials. For polystyrene, the uh, efficiency of the, of the project is about 80 to 85%. Of course, you lose a little bit uh, in vapor. And for we have done it also on uh, plexiglass, for example, and the efficiency is 98 to 99%. So that is uh, very, very successful. If you can uh, compare it with a small chemical factory, really, the heart will be the pyrolysis reactor and then there will be a complete secondary set of equipment that will purify the, the, the products. A total investment today, I would say between uh, about 60 and 70 thousand pounds on a very small pilot scale, of course. The objective is with some students and we are working on it now is to scale it up to a one and a half ton per hour bigger industrial plant. This project is uh, very important because if you look at it for the moment, 25 million tons of plastic are just landfilled or dumped. If you add another 25 million tons of residual crushed vehicle waste, that is 50 million tons. That is the equivalent of 50 million tons of chemicals. We cannot continue just dumping it. We need to do something with it, either recycle it in the form of energy or better, in the form of chemicals. This, for example, is the uh, liquid that is produced when you pyrolyze polystyrene. Of course, there is some uh, water in it because we, we inject uh, steam as well, but this can be refined and we will have 80% uh, of it will be back in styrene, which can be reused. So it's worth it. And at the same time, you shouldn't forget that this waste material is so bulky. It takes a lot of volume for no weight. If you transform it into a liquid, suddenly, you have one kilo per litre, which is uh, normally it's only 0.4 kilogram for a litre of the mixed plastic. So we condense it in a, in a very nice form.